What is the most frequently happen problems with laser cleaners? When you have these problems happen with your machine, what to do? We will give you at least a text file with all the links that with operation. Hi everyone, this is Jelly. Recently, I had many emails that from uh, laser cleaner customers use, but mainly they have uh, Paus laser cleaner and CW laser cleaners. Uh, they have uh, many kinds of problems happen and they want to get the service help. So uh, I want to share this time that generally speaking, the problems came from three inspections or we divide them into three categories. First is the mole function which caused by the operators that they didn't use the machine or operate the machine according to the menu. Second, quality issue, which means that the machine was built and made with a way that uh, not so completely aware of the service problems or quality issues. Third, that risk coming from the maintenance procedure because during using the machine, you need monthly, daily, or you know, change the lens, protect the windows. Uh, but when you do this maintenance, there are some new risks come up. Uh, the first, well, the mole functions mainly two kinds of operations. First is that when you uh, start the laser, you didn't check the machine is totally ready, which means first you need to check the red beam, and second you need to check if the protective uh, covers has been taken off, because normally you know, uh, laser comes from these uh, scanners, reflectors, and uh, focus lens, field lens, then protective windows. The last protection is the protection windows. And this, you need to uh, protect it when you don't use the machine uh, to avoid the dust to come in. There are two ways to protect them. One is using this cover, which is DMK using this, and there are some other manufacturers in the market. You may notice that uh, the cleaning gun, they have a longer exhausting nozzle, something like that, so which covers the protective windows uh, and also suction the dust away during cleaning. But in that way, the cleaning gun becomes very heavy. So we didn't choose that way. But what we do is to use a cover to cover the protective windows. Well, you know, even in our factory, and uh, the our engineers, sometimes they forgot to take it off and then they shoot the laser so you burn the cover right after. Uh, so this is uh, something you need to check according to the user menu very strictly and to get the habit every time before you shoot the laser, you should have to uh, make sure that it's uh, faced to the material in the right direction and you see the red beam and then you take off the cover, then you start the the laser. The second mole function comes from the compressed air. So when you start the laser cleaning process, you need to make sure that the red beam, the laser, and uh, uh, the protect windows cover everything ready in position, and then you shoot the laser. Well, during the cleaning process, there are a lot of dust and smoke come back to the lens. So normally we, we use the compressed air to blow away have a blow away the dust away. Well, you also can put a dust exhauster, the collect dust collector, the suction system close to the cleaning head during the moving. And uh, so the, we have designed the compressed air uh, channel in the cleaning gun. So uh, you can use the compressed air, but you need to guarantee 100% uh, zero oil and zero water, uh, the, compress, the air compressor, much smaller than this one. This one is for a bigger machine. Uh, for this machine, the very smaller one is enough because the pressure is very low, about 0 0.5 uh, bars. And um, the particles of oil and water should be less than 0 0.01 milligrams per square meter. Make sure that you can use the suction system close to the cleaning. You know, it's a laser system, it's an optic system, so you, you need to make in mind every time, you need to, to make it clean. 
or to make the cleaning gun in a cleaning situation. So you, if you want to use air compressor, you need to use a very clean compressed air. Otherwise, you put a normal air compressor and you, you even you pollute the lens because you sent the oil and water inside and you pollute it by yourself. In that way, it's very dangerous. And in our machine, there is also a pressure regulator and um, uh, the last filter before the compressed air came to the machine. So, but y you, you need to guarantee the compressor is the right one. Even we have the filter here, this is not to clean in everything. And uh, it's, you know, just the last stop. So the second type of problems coming from the quality issues. The quality issues from this machine, generally cleaning gun, laser source, and uh, electrical board. Well, electrical board very, very seldom have problems. Let's say if you have many uh, wiring issues during the application, which means the manufacturer is so crap. Well, as a very standard manufacturer for this machine, uh, we don't have many problems with the wiring. Uh, you know, like you don't weld it properly or some flax has fall, fall, fell off. Not many, these kind of issues. So mainly from the cleaning head and the laser. First, in the laser cleaning gun, the most frequently problems coming from this, the, the scanners. Because these scanners, they are, they are moving in a very high frequency, very high speed. They rotate, you know, every minute, thousand turns. And these mirrors on top of it, which guides the laser beam to move. When you especially have higher power, you have larger beam with a uh, higher power density and uh, the, the scanner is moving in high speed imagine that this is the most tiring part in this machine so this is very critical how to choose them and uh, how to set the frequency and uh, how to mount them uh, is very crucial uh, if you know the for this part there are many brands many prices and uh, normally we choose um, the the higher cost and better, you know, you spend money here and it, re it will come back to you with better performance. But this sometimes, you know, the mirror broken and uh, the mirror coating broken, you get the dirts or dust on the coatings or even the mirror just fell off two parts, you know, mostly coming from this or the your cleaning gun shouting which means that the scanner motor is not working in a proper condition or parameters. So such kind of problems. Well, it's very difficult for you to change the scanner motor or change the reflect mirror because it's a very uh, special work. And mostly we change the customer to switch the whole gun, which means that you need to unplug the connector with the laser. You need to unplug the gas pipe or if you have cooling system the other pipe and uh, uh, the main 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 power line so so some work to do but much easier than change this so we sent you a new cleaning gun with all the wires and you need to unplug yours and to plug again this uh, I do it myself one time for for a customer so I think it's not